Vince Booth. Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are in the world. My name is Sam. This is Men's Booth. So allow me to say welcome to Men's Booth. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to all of our viewers, those that have supported us in viewership, that have sent us comments, questions, and have followed up to ensure that we do this and do it even better. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We cannot tell you thank you enough. Now, today's episode, we'll be talking about man, knowing that it's man's good, but we're talking about man and family. What is man and what is the role of a man in a family? What are the things expected from a man in a family? You know, what, what do you want from a man in a family? And what should a man want from a family? We're going to be talking about it from different perspectives like we normally do. And um, I have a few people on set with me today, my brothers, my friends, men, as you can rightly guess. And they'll introduce themselves, then we'll dive right into it. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now, uh, before we go right along, I would like to introduce or for my guests or my brothers and friends on set to introduce themselves. So first, my name is Tommy and um, it's so good to be here. Yeah, this, this is, is your debut. first time on yeah. set, right? Yeah, it's my debut welcome. Yeah. So, yeah. welcome. I'm so glad to be here. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Um, and I'm Henry. You know how we do it on the men's boots. Yeah, the, the oldest man on set. Yeah, actually. <laughs> well, if you check, you might just be surprised. <laughs> no, we're not going to be checking the, uh, bed days and No, I'm not days. asking you to check. Yeah. I'm saying when they check. When they check, they'll because, be surprised. You know? Surprised. Well, you can be, are younger. You can be Googled. You know that. Yeah, I, well, but if they Google, they'll show. They'll, it'll show, it'll show no, they will Google the you, not yeah. me. So, so why would they Google you and it will show me? No, no, no. What I mean is it will show that you're the oldest. All right. So Whatever. we'll see. By the time we're done, you see all the wisdom that will pour out from Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm waiting for. You probably have the longest uh, experience with regard to the matters we're going to Let's about. just go. This Let's is go men's boot. This is men's boot. So this is how men's boot is. So yeah. here we're free. We talk about things, um, how we see things. And uh, because we know that, first and foremost, we are God's children. Yeah. So everything we talk about roots from there or stems from there, yeah. right? Um, the world that we have it today, there have been a lot of confusion in the world out mm. there. They have um, people that have been raised by social media. They have people that have been raised by TV. But we know that we're, we are not moved or we are not raised by um, such matters because they are not solid. Today they are this, tomorrow they are that. The yeah. only... Thing that our life is based on is God's word. And someone said to me the other day, he said, um, um, newspaper comes up every day with new news. Yeah. Right? Every day is new. Yeah, new different. information. Yes. Yeah. See, but the new Bible occurrences. has had the same news inside of it for over how many thousand of years? 10,000 mm. years. For as much as we can, we, we can, remember, yeah. the Bible have the same news inside of it and it hasn't changed and it always has proven to be true and true and true. But the newspaper, the internet, every day they come up with something new. One day they tell us we have nine planets, and another day they will wake up and tell us that the planets have increased. Another day mm. they say it has reduced. But the Bible has been true over creation. Step so fast. that's why we base our life on the Bible. So going right along, now we're talking about man mm. and family. What's the relationship between man and family? In your own expression, Henry, let's start with you. Um, well... Uh, the family is a social unit. We know, we all know that, and um, a social unit does that doesn't just exist on its own. Mm. It is made up of humans, so to speak, a man, a woman, mm. you know, and then um, yeah. children, children. Yeah. you know. Or if you want to go extended, mm. you know, some families are big, yeah, some are small. as small as can be, yeah. two, two, three people, yeah. you yes. know, and some are um, massive, massive. Yeah. yeah, like my family. Mm. <laughs> I'm talking about my extended family. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, some people have big families, some people are, have, they have small family. But the role of, the spiritual role of a man in a family is a um, demon in a family not just a man because they can have other male children in the house or okay. yeah. the spiritual the role of demand in the family yeah, yeah 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 you know is um is a lot you know the man 
is there to direct. Like you can say, the man is the captain. Mm -hmm. The man is also the fuel. The man is. I'm just using things that to liken not to it. Yeah, it's to liken to it. Yes. The man is the um, is the defender of his family. The shield. Sort the of. shield. Yeah. You can, yeah. The shield. Like he's the one that directs the course of that ship. Mm. So. If uh, that is not to say that a family without a man is um, or cannot go far mm. or cannot travel far, it's just the fact that when there's a man in a house, there's something he brings to the table. Now, every um, um, every um, I want to use the word. Um, I don't know if I can use the word real man because mm. we found situations where in a family there's a man, there's a woman, there are children, but the man ha the man's role has been relegated to the background by himself. He has refused to lead his family, therefore the family is just there, just existing. So everybody is finding words, their man own being a captain. way. Yes. Of, Sorry. No. So what is he, he made something? He said the man relegated himself to the background. Exactly. And now everybody's living their own way, which means the man is supposed to take leadership. Take leadership, and hereby the family is tossed here and there mm -hmm. without Who's fault? Do you direction. Think that one would have, who, whose fault was that? The man. Well, it could be the, the man. man. Not it could. Could be the man. It is the man. Because if it you say leadership, no, I would say could. Yeah. Because when you dig, yes. you find out. The earth has so many layers. Mm. So that's why I will not just... No, don't worry. Just for the sake of this conversation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's the man. Okay. And I can say it could be the man. So many reasons. We don't want to go into that. I don't think we want to go into that right, right. now. We'll come to it. But just to be put a, a, on that, a, a complete man, mm. you must be able to function... As a leader. As a leader mm. in your family. Mm. Yeah. All right. Tell me, tell me. Uh, well, um, the role of the man. Mm. First of all, as Christ is the head of the church, mm -hmm. you know, the man is also the head of the family. Hallelujah. Exactly. You know, he has a lot of responsibilities. Mm. Um, it, it's, it's a whole lot. Mm. And as he has rightly said, he's the director of the ship. He's like mm. the captain. The captain. You know, I, I would want to call him Lord with a small letter L. Mm. With a small letter L, mm. you know. Without him, mm. the children and the wife, mm. you know, should be able to look up to him like, mm. we're looking up to you. Mm -hmm. Do something. Mm -hmm. They don't need to say do something mm. before he knows that he, he, has, he do should some, do something. something. Yes. You know, he's the shield, mm. as you rightly said. He's, he's the, the spiritual God. Mm. He directs them. He tells them what to do. Mm. Even when he's not saying anything, his mm. actions should be able to sorry, put sorry, them at you yeah. said can, You said spiritual God. Yes, like the you, small, everything that I use is like the small letter G, like a Lord with the small letter L. Okay. You know, like a, G, okay. a God like with the small letter G. Yeah. Okay. You know, mm. he, he, he doesn't need to open his mouth to say things before things are done. You know, he knows, he should know. As the man of the house, the mm. man, he should know that the responsibilities, you know, lies on his shoulder. Mm. With his left hand, he cares for the wife. Mm. With his right hand, he cares for the children, mm. you know. So his hands should always be wide open. Mm. He shouldn't okay. be a man that... Me, myself, and I. Yes, he should... Be like this, general, you know. A terrific man. You can understand what I'm trying to Great say. To God. Um, yeah. I think if, if just the idea of dissecting a man and family and the role that man plays in the family, mm -hmm. I think we can practically go all day just picking out different things that are um, a, the way to describe man's relationship to family. Yeah. But if you wrap it up in one sentence, I, I think it would be correct to just say that man's role to a family is the leadership role in a family for direction, for guidance, and for protection, Yes, mm -hmm. basically. Yes. So now, if the man is the one that plays the, the leadership role, mm -hmm. then how does a man, because it, it wouldn't make sense to be a captain of something that doesn't work. 
or something that does not have um, a future or something that is not successful, mm. right? Mm. So man, as the leader of the family, how does a young man that have now been given or that have taken the responsibility of heading a family, how does he build a successful family? Yeah, so before you get to that, um, you know, I use the analogy of a man being the captain of a ship, right? Yes. Um, a ship does not suddenly appear in the middle of the ocean, right? Mm. A ship starts its journey or her journey mm. from somewhere. Mm. It starts from the dock, mm. from one part of the mm -hmm. earth the shore, or mm -hmm. to the dock or at another, another part, part yes. of the earth. Yes. Yes. So, you must, first of all, uh, have found your purpose as, as a man. man. You must have found, you must know where, where you want to be. Hmm. You must know who you are, mm -hmm. first of all, mm -hmm. where you want to go, or who where you, are going where to you go. want to be, yes. where mm -hmm. you want to go to. Mm -hmm. You must know yourself. Well, in this day and age, it feels like you should know, because not everybody knows. You know, from, from, from the old times, you must know. In these times, it feels like you should know. Because well, at your own risk. Yeah, yeah, at, at your I own agree. risk. I agree. But some people are willing to take that risk. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, know if you've they, met some No, it happens. Yes, yes, they just want to it take happens. the risk. Yes. Oh, it happens. The risk. It happens. It does happen. Mm. And it's, it's also um, um, it's a, a, a spiral effect from the family you're coming from too. Mm. For example, yes, please. if I'm coming, I came from a family. I didn't yes. just drop from the sky, right? Really? I had a father. Wow. I had a father. My I father is know. late now. <laughs> oh, blessed memory. Of course. And then my mom, <laughs> right? And um, I learned certain things, certain attributes, certain principles mm. from my father. Mm. And at a point where I felt like, or at a point in my life growing up when I didn't know where, I wasn't thinking of where I was going. Mm. My father already gave me hints and said, tell, oh, you're good at this. Don't you think, don't you think, what do you want to do? When, when, you, when your dad starts asking you those questions, mm. even if you were not thinking about them before, mm. It's like some things start arranging in your mind. Mm. And you'll be like, oh, really? I should be thinking of what I want to do. Maybe I want to be a doctor. Maybe I want to be a scientist. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe I want to be uh, a choreographer or a dancer or whatever. Yeah. So that's where I'm coming from. So my understanding of what you said so far, to wrap it quickly, yeah. so that I could also hear from him, yeah. is the fact that, one, you said the man needs to know his own purpose. Yes. For him to have a successful family, yeah. he needs to know his own purpose. Yeah. Yeah. He needs to know where he's going to. So yes. one is to know his purpose. The next one to know to know his destination, where he's going where to. You are going because for to. him to lead, he needs to know where he's going no, to. No, if yes. anybody, <clears throat> even for, if, uh, let, let, okay, before coming to lead, before anybody can join you, because only you cannot build a family. Yes. Right? So yes. Before, start gathering. Yeah, before yeah. you before you look for that person that will join you. Yes together to build that family, you yeah. must know where you're going because that person most likely will ask you, where are you going? Mm. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes. If I'm going to London mm. and you're going to Africa, mm -hmm. can you see that? Yeah. They don't, they're not, it's not There's the same. Dimension you, don't, you don't plot the same graph yeah. at that point. Yeah. So that goes to, I'm talking about marriage mm. now. Before you go into marriage with to create a family. To create a family. You, you, should, must you know should know where, you're going where that man is going to. Yeah. Where If that woman is willing to follow you to that, your destination. Your destination. Yeah. It's very it. important. Yeah. yeah. So, so according to you, we're going to break shortly, but let me just quickly recap. Um, first, you said the man needs to have a purpose. Secondly, he needs to know where he's going to. Exactly. Before he now starts the journey of gathering um, the family. Yes, right. Then yeah. thirdly, something you said at the end of it was what your father did for you without even knowing he planted some seeds yeah. for direction. So as a father or as a man, it is your responsibility as a head of the to start planting the seeds. We'll come and we'll talk more about that. But I just thought to just bring out that so that we're able to flag it and talk more. Now, we'll be going on a, a quick break right now. We'll be back shortly. When we come back, Tommy will be telling us his own version of what we're talking about. Thank you very much. 
Nobody love me like you do. Nobody touch me like you do. Nobody do me like you. Yes, indeed, this is OB Shine. And right about now, you are watching Love Wall XP. So keep it there, keep it love. Thanks. Welcome back. So before we went on the break, we said that when we return, we'll hear um, Tommy's um, version of uh, what we're talking about. So let's go straight up to Tommy. So Tommy, tell us. All right. Not to take anything away from what you said before we went on that break. There is this thing that a man needs to understand. It's called transition. Mm. You must be able to understand that you have transited mm -hmm. from that life that you had when you were under an authority of a man who happens to be your father, you're no more there. You dropped off to start yours. Mm. Just as God called Abraham, not Abraham now, mm. as God called Abraham out mm. from his father's house, mm. he understood that he transited at that point. So as a man, before you start a family, you must be able to understand that you've left that the way you used to do, so to speak. Mm. Or you, are, you must be able to understand that you are no more under your father's authority. You want to become an authority mm. of yours. You want to have your, your own fold. Mm. So you must be able to understand that. Mm. Having understood that, there is one thing that you must do. Mm. You must be very close to God. Mm. To start a family is not a joke. Really? It is not. Tell me. What? It is not a joke. You, <laughs> there are many things, there are so many things you should do or you need to understand that you have you know someone that you call your wife mm -hmm. and then you are given you, you you were taking instructions before you left your father's house now you are the instructor telling your wife what to do mm -hmm. and your wife carrying out what you've asked her to do mm -hmm. do you understand do you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. you know so that transition you must be ready for it it's not just you leaving your father. You must be ready for it. And having, you know, going into that, when you've gone into it, you get, you get married, the responsibilities starts. It starts. And how do you now, the question is, how are you able to um, uh, know those responsibilities so that you can have a successful home? So that you can have a successful family. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that will now start popping up. You know, after getting married, you have your wife, and then you start having children. Now, how do you run that household? How do you run it? How do you make it work mm -hmm. as a man? Mm -hmm. It's very important. That is why I said God comes in. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand everything you said, but I'm trying to connect how you started because mm -hmm. you. It sounded um, like you had I, to oppose you, right? Yeah. No, no, I, I, no, no. I said no, no, not no. to take anything yes. off from what no, no, you no. said. Hold on. You, I said you, you must be able to yes. know that you have transited as Abraham transited out of his father's yes, house when you. God called him out. No, I get you. You try and get me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I, Let me go to bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you, but try and get me because he came from the. Uh, he, he, he came from how a boy. Mm leaves his father's house. Mm. I'm not talking about boys. Mm. boys I didn't raise... mention boys. No, hold on. Hold, just hold on. Okay. Boys don't raise families. Mm. Yeah. Boys 
can't raise family actually. Permit me to say, you know, we already talked about transition from boy from, to with, with, Yeah, so we, now dealt, we, have we dealt with in that. previous episode what we expect yes. from a man. So probably so because now, you, yeah, it, this is his yeah, first that, show. Yes. So now we've talked about what you're talking what about said, now. Yes. Okay. So we've, now we've, yeah. we've established what, what differentiates a boy and a man. Boyhood. We've talked about boyhood. Boyhood into manhood. So, so I just went man, in there mm -hmm. to try to Creative establish picture. the fact that mm. um, a boy, like the, there's this saying that if you if you if you're hot, you will hot probably hot someone. A hot in person hurts people. Hurts people. Mm. So a trained boy, most likely, most likely will become a a very good man, mm. and most likely will raise a good family. Mm. A disciplined child, do you understand yeah. what we're talking yeah. about? Now, per permit me to jump in there. Yeah, it, it, it's more like a cycle, right? Yes. And and the reason why it's like a cycle is it's the boy that becomes a man, and that man is expected to raise boys. Becomes so it's father. going round. He becomes a father. It goes round. That man so we want to father. create a starting point, right? Really and then we'll now go all the way. Like yeah. the, the, that's why I talked about the instance that Henry gave when he talked about the things that his father pointed out to him. Yeah. Now he's now the father having to point out those same things to the children. Exactly. Now, in pointing out leadership, man leadership, yeah. in pointing out these things to the family, right? Your child, your son, for instance, you are already programming him. Yes. You're already programming him to become a man of his own and how to also program. Because when his father was teaching him what he was being taught, the father didn't say, when you become a father, this is what you tell your child. But those seeds are already being put inside of him. But there's two things that he mentioned that I really like was the fact that first, you need to have a purpose. Because what success a lot of times is determined based on your purpose, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. A thief can claim that he's successful. Why? Because he <laughs> wanted to go and steal something. He got there and he successfully and he finally so he stole. successful, yeah. right? Um, an engineer can say he's successful because he drew up a plan and he was able to build it. Now, for a man and family, the man considers himself successful when he's able to create that plan that he had original. That's why I like it so much. I like it so much when you talked about the man having a purpose and also having a direction, having clear direction to where, where he's, he's going, going to. to. And he said before he goes to get a woman, the woman should ask the man, where are you going to? In case you are going to London and I'm going to Africa. Yes. He made yeah. that instance. And that was yeah. re really as in fantastic for me because I think quite a number of people don't ask that question. Oh, you are fine. We are attracted. I like him. He makes me laugh. Then they join up with the person to make a family. Then a few months into the family thing, because that's where you see the family mm. thing, this new status. And what you start then, hearing is um, you change. Yeah. You were not this, you were not like this before. Do you understand? That's what you start hearing. You changed. No. You see, I'm of the school of thought that people don't change. Do you understand? You are who you are. You will only when you be, say people don't you will change. Only be, you uh, will I, only be a <laughs> better... You I don't will, agree. Okay, okay. You will only be a better... Will, we also talked about it in the previous yes, episode. Yes, we did. I'll just shed a little light on mm, it. We did. Harry, allow me just All right. a second. No, not a second. Why do you say people don't change? Let me explain. I'm, I'm, explain. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit perky. You yes. guys are not yes. Please, interested. Dig in. Let me explain what he's trying to say. We had it in the previous episode, and our viewers would know because a lot of them, are they really enjoy it because we got a lot of feedback from that particular episode. Now, when two people come together to get married they don't exactly change i think it was even Marsha that really dug into answering that question that day they don't really change they grow i'll give an instance the way you were before you got married and where you are now physically speaking yeah physically, physically speaking yeah you're not the same did yeah. you really change no you grew you grew when yes. you grow what do you do what do you mean by when you, you grow, grow. Do you, grow? You, grow you grow you grow you grow yes mm -hmm. yes you became you be, uh, you become um when the things when you stop doing the things you that used you do. used to do. What hap what, what do you Let me help that? you understand what we mean by this I understand. I understand what growth is. Do you understand? You, do? you don't need to school me on what growth is. No, I'm not trying to Do you that. understand? I'm just trying what to I'm say. saying is, mm. when you stop doing a particular thing, mm. what you used to do before, mm. when you stop doing them, mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you call that? Do you call it growth? Yes, you can call it growth. Let me give you an instance. Can I give you an instance of growth? Should I give an instance of growth? Okay. So because you didn't, you didn't grow a third eye. Slow down, slow down. You didn't grow a third eye. We only stopped doing. Let me, no, no, let me give you a clear instance. 
So a child is a year old, he used to wear a diaper. Why? Because the child used to pee a wee wee, right? Now, as the child turns into two years old or three years, depending on how fast, the child stops peeing in a diaper. So you stop uh, getting him diapers. Would you say the child changed? No, he outgrew that thing. Now, in terms of couples, so a lot of men and women would say, oh, their husband used to be very romantic and now he's no longer romantic. Relax, yeah. right? They used yeah. to be romantic, they're no longer romantic, right? Mm. Now, you need to ask yourself, the amount of responsibilities you had when you were romantic and what you yeah. have now is not the same. You had to grow. Some things you had to pipe down on, not because you're no longer that, not, long, not because you can no longer be romantic, but because what you have to deal something with right happened. now. Yes, something, something happened. happened. Yes. So you you, you okay. won't change to what do you what else. do you call when something what do you say to something if something happens to you? Yes. What do you call it? Situation happens. Situation yes, happens. Things happen when they okay. happen. Because the, the Bible that said the Bible said Yes. If a man be in Christ, yes, all things are passed away. Thank you. Yes. Continue. All, new. all right. Yes. Okay. It's a change. No, 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 no. You are getting it wrong. Let me explain to you. Let me explain. In marriage, yeah. all right, unless you're saying they got married pretentiously, not being themselves. If, you, if that's what you're saying, that's another class. We can talk about that another day. If but we're talking about two real people coming together to create something as beautiful as a family. Okay. Right? Now, yeah. the man is the head. And the reason why I keep pushing it back to man being the head, because the man as the head dictates the tune of that family, largely. That's why you are the leader. The responsibility is on you. You are the captain of that ship. You cannot put any blame or put any fault on the passengers in court or your other crew members in that ship. It's largely you on your like, shoulder. You yes. take responsibility. Right. You know, you even, even when a man, um, um, the, 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 the word you just used, the scripture, you just, if, a man, if any right. man be in Christ, is a new creature. Yes. It's not change. Because when you, when you, that transformation that happens to you, mm. hmm, you didn't grow on to show that you are now born again. In fact, the person that wasn't there before yeah. would hardly tell except for your character. Which is probably if you used to be um if you used to be arrogant, you have gained yeah. wisdom. So so what you're saying uh, reminds me, okay, puts in mind ethics. You know, for every building you have structure. Yeah. Right yeah. now, ethic is one of those um, kind of building blocks that you put around the family to yeah. help it yeah, put grow. them in check. Yes, like pillars to yeah. help stand it up the way you want it um, to stand. Right, mm. but as it is now, we've been told by our producer that we're out of time for this episode, oh. so we're going to pick it up from here in the next episode. So you see that it's getting really hot here. Thomas is not leaving any punches out. He's giving us everything that he's got in there. And I'm really enjoying. It. I hope you're enjoying it too. So please join us in the next episode while we continue this discussion. Thank you very much. It's my debut. Next time when it, I'm coming it's on. It's no longer be your debut. No, it's no longer my debut. <laughs> oh, it's so good to be on this show. It's such a great time, opportunity. Yeah. So, Henry, please tell yeah, me. Yeah, I've had a wonderful time, especially with Tommy. <laughs> so it's the men's boot, everyone. And thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.